Hey YouTube people, this is Jesse, Crave Collector 01, here today for another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be doing Generation 1 Battle Trap. Um, here's a quick look at Battle Trap. He is the uh, the two alt, mode, two alt modes that make one robot, the, uh, the plane and the car. The plane uh, is pretty nice. It's got uh, just molded in landing gear here and here, the blade spin. It's actually got a fair amount of detail molded in. It's got a little molded in gun. The uh, the wings there have molded in detail on the wings. Uh, vents, things like things like that. But a uh, pretty nice helicopter mode. Let's see him to the side. Here's the other half of Battle Trap, the uh, SUV type car. He also has a lot of nice molded in detail there on the hood. He's got the hood, the fenders, the uh, door handles and stuff there. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, mine's missing a sticker. It would have uh, headlights and a grill sticker here. And he does have two rub symbols. One on uh, each of the things, each of the uh, parts of the alt mode. And the way Battle Trap works is what you're going to do is it's all a spring-loaded kind of gimmick, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in slow first and describe how it works, and then I'll put it all together and show it how it works as a whole. But basically, what happens is you can choose to either put this in here, and that opens up uh, this little spring-loaded tab here. And uh, you can fold these arms out. They just hold in with friction. And this just, when you're transforming it, it springs up. And when you put it together the right way, this bit here plugs into this bit on the helicopter. And that makes these propeller blades come forward just enough clearance to bring that out. And together it's just, he sits like this. But that's just a quick explanation of how the... Uh, the gimmick for Battle Trap works. So now I'm going to actually uh, put him together here and do it the right way. So what you want to do is you just got to line up these three here. And when you put this in, it's going to automatically force these two bits out. But that's okay because it's just held in with friction anyway. I think on like the first knuckle on the molded hand is how it holds into place. So you're just going to push it in till it's right there and then what you want to do is just take it and squeeze till that pops down and then just let it go and now you have battle trap in robot mode and it's actually really nice I really like them um, now a lot of people they won't like this a generation one transformer like this because it has no articulation at all it's it's basically a block with a helicopter blade on the back but um, I like G1 and everything in G1 so I love this guy um, he does have uh, molded hands there he does come with a uh, little weapon it's kind of like a double barreled gun of just this kind of gray plastic which I don't have but um, I really like the head scope on this guy the uh i believe the eyes are a uh, sticker but the actual molded detail for the head's really nice and uh and one of the thing i was noticing is when i was just kind of messing around with this guy is when you transform him the back of the helicopter comes right to the back of the car so even though the springs may get weak on the inside and it may not pop up anymore you're still going to be able to transform it and it's not just going to fall back it's only going to fall back that far and I thought that was a, a, not, a nice little um, I don't know bit of designing there that it kind of shows that they was really thinking you know how's this toy going to hold up years down the road you know even if it loses its the spring or spring in his step because he's all mechanized um, it just kind of showed that they thought about how this was going to hold up over the years. And that, that really surprised me. I really liked that. 
and that's what makes me love G1 is they really from a design pers perspective they really kind of optimize the technology and designing process for generation one transformers they made they made these to last but um I like him now like I said a lot of people's not gonna like this because it is just a spring-loaded transformer with no articulation but for what it is I love it and uh, having this guy I actually can't wait to get flywheels I'm gonna have to look for flywheels now just because I like this guy so good but um, I would recommend it I love it a lot of people won't but I really enjoy it and I'm glad I have it in my collection this guy did come from crave.com and he only he costed me 970 and that was with shipping an original transformer from uh, G1 I think it's 87 yep from 87 uh, 970 shipped so I jumped at the chance to get this guy because he's one I've actually wanted for a while so uh, don't forget to visit Crave.com for all your Transformers needs. And this is Jesse, Crave Collector 01, official Transformers reviewer for Crave.com, signing off. I gotta get to secret to tell before my head.